What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Souls and we are doing another real versus fake. Uh, this time it's between my original Apple Watch Ultra which we have right here on my wrist and the latest smartwatch that I've done my, on my All Souls channel which is the H11 Ultra smartwatch. If you want to see a full unboxing and review of either of these items then make sure you check out my previous videos on my All Souls channel. Make sure you subscribe just before I get started. Make sure you follow me on one of the social medias above i'll always put up sneak peeks on what to expect and also and as always make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when I upload any video you'll actually be notified so with this h11 ultra smartwatch how will it compare uh, by the looks compared to the original apple watch and now i know the operating system is different but i just wanted to show you the differences between both of these as they look pretty similar uh, if you want to see any other videos let me know in the comment section below Shall I do a teardown of this like I did with the ZDA Ultra Max? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, let's start the real versus fake. Spot the difference uh, between the Apple Watch Ultra and the H11 Ultra smartwatch. Any ideas which one is which? Well, this one right here is the real Apple Watch Ultra. This is the H11 Ultra smartwatch. So let's take a look at the design. Now, first things first is I don't know if you can catch this on camera, but the H11 Ultra is just a little more darker than the um, Apple Watch Ultra. I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but it's just a little more dark and it's a little more lighter on the Apple Watch Ultra. You do get the antenna lines going around. It's much more lighter on the Apple Watch as you can see and it's a darker line on the uh, H11 Ultra. The antenna lines that goes on the outer of the screen right there. This one here. So it just stops when it gets to the crown and the power button but it goes all the way around. It's much more dark. You can see it properly on the Apple Watch Ultra when it comes to the H11 Ultra. It's a bit more lighter. There's still an antenna line there, but I don't know if it's any use on this watch. So overall, looking at it like this, you can see they both have a 1.92 inch display, but we'll get to the features of both of these later. This is just purely the look of the design. As you can see, the round, they have both have rounded edges. If you saw my previous real versus fake with the Apple Watch Ultra, you would know that the Apple Watch Ultra has a nice curved screen, but with the previous one, it was much more edged. But this one, as you can see here, is pretty curved like the original as you can see so let's go to the crown button and the power button pretty much identical like i said there's a little difference compared in color but overall there's not a lot of differences switching it 180 to the sport button and as you can see here just the um, mic um, cut out at the bottom is a little more bigger than the H11 Ultra. The speaker uh, grill circles as well, speaker holes are a little more bigger than the H11 and same again with this uh, mic at the top. Inside of the watch bands as you can see you've got your serial number and uh, you've got your, I don't know if you can actually see the trademarks but you haven't got anything in the h11 ultra now taking a look at the back so the only thing there's a couple of differences now the h11 ultra does have real screws which you have right here if you want to see a tear down of this watch let me know in the comment section below the same thing i did with the zda ultra max that got destroyed if you want the same again with this one let me know in the comments so the differences are yeah, of course, with Apple Watch Ultra, you get the logo. You don't get that on the H11 Ultra. Also, the sensors are a little bit different. You can see circles in the sense in sensors of the Apple Watch Ultra. When it comes to the uh, H11, they are circles, but they're not in the outer. It's like a double, a thick layer circle. You can see the black ones, four ones. It's a little, little more different on the H11 Ultra. So that's another difference. Uh, and also the text around the sensors are in a different shade as well and probably a different font. 
but uh, we do have push uh, watch band push buttons to take the watch bands on and off so that is the looks uh, design on the h11 ultra and also the apple watch ultra so far so good now this video is surely just to show you what the h11 ultra is like compared to the apple watch ultra now i know this apple watch ultra is more just over 700 pounds or 800 pounds depending on which one you actually buy with the watch bands or whatnot but i just want to show you what both of these are like uh, when it comes to features of course the operating system is much better on the apple watch ultra but you get what you pay for in like i said in every other video so let me show you in the next clip uh, what the features are between them both and then we'll switch them both on and i'll just show you what the operating system like is on both of them and show you how they both perform if you haven't seen the unboxing review if you have then good if you haven't then make sure you check out the unboxing review of the h11 ultra and the unboxing of the apple watch ultra just to get a bit more feel on what both of these watches are like and if you want to see any other videos with either of these watches let me know in the comment section below what uh, real versus fake video should i do next as you can tell with all of the ultra smart watches i've done on my previous videos let me know in the comments so let's take a look at some of the features between them both the apple watch ultra has a 1.92 inch retina oled display with a resolution of 502 times 410 it has a sapphire crystal glass with the always on display h11 ultra has a 1.91 inch hd tft display with a resolution of 320 times 386 it has a 2.5d curved full fit twitch screen the battery on the apple watch ultra is a 542 mah battery coming to the h11 ultra is a 450 mah battery let's power them both on just to show you a bit more features and you would know what the both are like at the end of this video so when it comes to powering both on you've got the apple logo on the apple watch ultra and a hello logo on the h11 ultra it does take a bit more time for the apple to boot up so we'll just wait for that and here we have it so here is what it looks like with the uh, watch faces now as you can see you have got a little bit of a thick bezel around the h11 ultra just going to zoom in to show you a little bit better so as you can see here it's much more smooth when it comes to the apple watch as you can see with the seconds um with the second hand seconds hand it runs much more smoother compared to the h11 ultra as you can see right there uh, apple watch ultra does have a little bit of a bezel around but it's much more thicker on the h11 so pushing the crown on the apple watch ultra it brings up the list menu now pushing in the h11 ultra same again brings up the list view let's take a look at some of the features on the apple watch ultra as you can see here you've got the app store let me just show you some of the features on the apple watch ultra and then we'll take it to the um h11 ultra so you've got the app store uh, you've got apple store as well audio books blood oxygen and pro you probably can get it on the h11 ultra uh, let me just tell you the re uh, the new one so you've got the compass cycle tracking the new feature on the apple watch ultra is the depth where you can take it underwater uh, find devices that's probably same as the h11 you've got your mail um app your maps medication that tracks the medications that you're on memoji you can set that up on the apple watch ultra your social media apps messages music noise as well uh, your mp3 player now playing your phone app photos reminders remote uh, settings shortcuts siren sleep spotify uh, stopwatch timers tips train line voice memos walkie talkie which is a new feature i've tried it's really really good uh, wallet weather workout and world clock now you get a animation as you can see right there and it does have a lot of sport modes but i'm pretty sure the h11 ultra has more so that is the menu and the sport button on the apple watch ultra coming to the h11 ultra you won't get as much apps on this one but there is a few apps that actually are different so you've got your sports mode uh, uh, sport record heart rate spo2 step uh, pedometer uh, breath training sleep dial call records contact 
calendar, weather, camera, music, voice assistant, GPS positioning, alarm, stopwatch, um, calculator. You've got a game as well that you don't have no games on the uh, Apple Watch Ultra. You've got your timer, raise to wake option as well, find my phone, bright screen, which you can always put always on display, which is good. Uh, a new feature on this H11 Ultra is the temperature. If you want to see if that really works, check out the review on this. And uh, I will, in that video, it shows you if it actually works or not. We try it three different times just to see if it uh, works properly. You got your business card, WeChat, you got your social media apps, which you can put. Uh, time zone, this is a new one. I could give you a time zone of all the countries, which is cool. Uh, you got your QR code to download the app and you've also got settings. So as you can see here, the operating system is much more different compared to um, the H11 Ultra when it comes to the Apple Watch Ultra. That's why I'm not going in depth on uh, the operating system because it's much more uh, different on the Apple Watch Ultra compared to the H11 Ultra. Let's take a look at some of the shortcuts. When you swipe it down, you've got your uh, notifications on this one. You swipe it up for your notifications. Let's swipe it to the left. You've got your, you can change your um, watch faces on the Apple Watch. When you swipe it to the left, you have your shortcuts, your step, pedometer, uh, heart rate and whatnot swiping it uh, up will bring your shortcuts which you can have right here and when it comes to the um, shortcuts on the h11 ultra you got to swipe it down right there for the price of the h11 ultra i would say if you don't want to spend too much money on the apple watch ultra this is a pretty decent smartwatch that looks like the ultra and performs really good uh, I have got more of the ultra smartwatches so uh, so far this is a decent smartwatch to have if you don't want to pay the exertion amount of money for the original Apple Watch Ultra. Anyways I hope that I answered a lot of your questions if I missed anything out let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. If you want to see any other videos do let me know in the comments. Yeah thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video of Real vs Fake. Enjoy.